everybody. So this week's episode of Team Wolf was very graphic and the end of the episode had me losing my mind. Let's talk about episode seven of season five, Strange Frequencies. Okay, so this episode, different characters were paired off together that you really didn't expect to see together the whole episode. So I'm kind of going to focus on the characters that spent most of the episode together and kind of go about explaining what happened that way. So, as y'all know, in last week's episode, Theo killed a dude. He killed another one of the chimeras. And his eyes didn't turn blue, which still has me very suspicious. You all know how much I can't stand Theo. I'm just, just going to say that again. Don't trust him. Can't stand him. He's pretty to look at, though. I'll give him that. But anyways, back to the point. We see, at the beginning of this episode, Styles and Theo in a big confrontation, fighting, because Theo tells Styles he saw everything that went down with Donovan and the body disappear and all that. And Styles is just like, really? Like, Styles is so, he's being blackmailed. He... I mean, Theo puts it in a nice way, but he's like, he's like, oh, I'm going to look after you and stuff. See my face? Not buying it. Styles isn't either. Any, anywho, this episode had me like, what is happening? We find out. A whole, one whole scene with Theo, he's telling Styles to trust him and he'll always look after him like he looked after his sister. Okay, then we get a big flashback of Theo seeing his sister freezing in the water and just leaving her there. He essentially killed her. Theo, you're on the shit list. Like, what, what is your damage? For real, like, who are you and why is Scott not catching on to your BS seriously I'm just gonna keep until Scott realizes what the heck is going on with Theo I'm just gonna keep calling Theo out and bless Scott's heart I hope he figures it out soon before something really bad happens some other things that are very interesting happening we see a lot of sparks flying between Liam and Hayden there's a whole scene where he's trying to, he tells her about, well, we don't see it, but they walk out of the club and we see him trying to convince her about the, she's a chimera, about werewolves, the dread doctors, everything. He even goes so far as to transform in front of her and she punches him in the face and dries off. And then the dread doctors come after her and Liam saves her ass again. Like, seriously, come on, girl. Like, I know, but, and then... There's a whole scene at Scott's house. Who all was there? I think it was Scott, Styles, and Liam. Or was Theo there too? I don't remember. Theo might not have been there. I don't think Theo was there. I don't care. Theo needs to just go away anyway. He's irrelevant. Well, actually he's relevant, but I don't want him to be. Unless he's a good guy. Back to the point. Hayden has locked herself in the bathroom. Scott is about to force the door open because he wants to talk to her about how they're going to protect her and she opens the door and she's starting to like transform she has glowing eyes and claws and I don't know what else I don't even know if that's really fully what she's going to look like when she's transformed but yeah so she re she believes them now once she started transforming like that um now Theo and Styles go off after this pretty much and decide to try and figure out who is stealing the bodies. They set up a trap. They put a camera on. I think it was. I think the the chimera that uh, Theo killed. His name was Josh. I want to say Scott knew who he was. So it was like Cyrus was like, oh shit. So they put a camera on the body and they basically just have a stakeout to wait and see who comes and takes the body. Meanwhile. Kira can't help the t the pack out because she has lost control of her fox, her kitsune side. Her mom even challenges her in the school, like, just 
uh, like surprises her, confronts her with a sword and fights her. And Kira's dad has to stop Kira from almost killing her mom. And it's like, really? And there's a whole acupuncture thing that goes on that her mom's doing to, that's supposed to help her. I don't know how it's supposed to help her, but it's supposed to help her gain control of herself again. But yeah, doesn't work. Kira, like, hightails it out of there when her mom leaves the room. They come back in, find the needles on the wall in the shape of, I think it was 115, those numbers. And that's all we see of Kira for a little while. And we're like, okay, what? Oh, also her sword is mysteriously missing. You know the sword belt? that I really want that belt. It's really cool. It's really cool. Come on. You know it's really cool. If you know where I can get one, like, comment below. Let me know. You know? Anyways. So, you know that Beacon Hills is on cellular currents, and the strongest point in them is Beacon Hills High School, apparently. So, Scott and everybody decide to set a trap for the Dread Doctors with Hayden inside. There's a whole scene where... Liam realizes that Hayden's the bait and stuff, and Liam basically asks Scott to try his hardest to save Hayden and protect her. And it's really cute because Papa Scott's like, yeah, yeah, I will. He prompts. It's so cute. I love the Liam and Scott scenes. So cute. So cute. So cute. Now, I just, I don't even know what to think, but they all just are big chilling in the school and at some point I don't know why they think it's smart they shouldn't even be not even ever are they should they go off alone like Scott goes to get some pills for Hayden and supposedly gets attacked by Kira we see him get ran through with the sword from Kira we see Lydia run off and she gets her tongue ripped out by Tracy and then we see Malia get impaled through the neck and animal traps on her on her feet and arms and stuff. And we're like, what? And then we realize it's all a hallucination. And then we're like, okay. But Lydia's tongue getting ripped out by Tracy, that was probably the most disturbing part of, one of the most disturbing parts of this episode. I mean... Except for the part where Parrish hallucinates a makeout session with Lydia that then turns her into a burned person. She's all burned everywhere and they're still making out. She's like forcing him and, and then all of a sudden he goes and decides to drive off, drive off and do whatever he's been, you know what he's been up to. He's been taking the bodies and I don't know why he's been taking the bodies. It's weird. Something else we see. Mason talking to that guy Corey that Lucas had hurt and he is healed completely from the scorpion venom stuff. I'm just like what wait what is what? I, I, I'm curious about that if he's like becoming a chimera as well somehow or I don't know it's crazy it's just crazy. And something else we find out, we see Mama McCall and Sheriff Selinski talking in the hospital and they are trying to find the connection between all of the chimeras and guess what it is? Skin grafts. All of them have had skin grafts and they have, so they're all like scientifically or medically, whatever, chimeras. So they were like the opportune, like the best subjects for the dread doctors apparently or whatever. So there's that, which sucks for all of those kids because I really wouldn't want to come in contact with the Dread Doctors. I mean, um, I mean, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm just going to say no. Just going to say no right there. Something else. Scott, the one thing, hallucination, I was actually very convinced about for a while was the one with Scott and Kira. The other ones, I called them right away. But Scott and Kira, because Kira's been acting weird. Well, it, it takes Mason coming in and cutting Scott to get him out of the hallucination. And that's when Scott realizes it's not real. And sadly, 
is he realizes it too late because the Dread Doctors have taken Liam and Hayden. They really just wanted Hayden, but Liam was standing in the way. So they were probably like, okay, we'll take this dude too and torture him and shit. I don't know. I, maybe. I don't know. Poor baby Liam. He sure knows how to pick them, right? I mean, they're cute together, him and Hayden, but I mean. Come on, Liam. Man. Hope nothing bad happens to him. Or that girl, Hayden. Because she seems pretty cool. I like her, her, her personality. Very cool. But let's talk about the biggest moment of this episode that had me losing my mind. And I don't think everybody realized it until later. I didn't realize it until I'd watched the episode a second time. But at the end of the episode, Melissa McCall, Mama McCall, walks into the house, their house, her and Scott's, and she walks into the kitchen and we see a dead body ran through with a sword. Okay, first time around, it happened so fast, I wasn't observing it too closely. Second time around, I look at it and I'm like, holy shit, that's Kira's sword. And where is Kira? I don't know, but can someone please help Kira not to be bad? Because, yeah. Now, that was one of the craziest moments. One other moment that I almost forgot to mention, but I have to mention, because it freaked me out, was the moment when Parrish comes and attacks Styles and Theo in the Jeep. He's burning, he did, sends a burning punch to Theo. That's the best way to, to describe it. Theo's, I guess, knocked out or something. And he tur uh, Parrish turns the Jeep over. We don't see Parrish in any of this. They don't really see him. They, we still don't see them until Styles and Theo are knocked out. So Styles is in the Jeep. The Jeep's flipped and there's fire around and Styles is knocked out bleeding and then we see Parrish walk out with the body and we're like and he's in a he's like just zoned out like he has no idea what the heck he is up to he don't know he's he's not in the loop himself something I think someone is somehow controlling him maybe 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 not maybe it's just whatever he is I still need to know what he is it's that's really gonna probably explain a lot once we know for sure what he is. I don't know. I'm glad Styles is okay. Not so much Theo, but I mean, maybe he'll change his colors one day and be a good character. Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure, I am really anxious to see the newest episode of Team Wolf next week because just wow. It, the season has me just wow. I, I See, I can't even put, explain how I feel this season. It's so incredibly shocking. The season's shocking. It's definitely going for the shock factor and some gore factor. I mean, eh, factor too. It's, it's going there. It's very interesting. Still not season 3B for me. Season 3B was my favorite, but I'd say season 5 is coming to be one of my favorite seasons of Teen Wolf. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Continue to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a great night. Bye, guys.